Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse of the Suicide Squad's Polka Dot Man. <clears throat> this is a part of the uh, King Shark Collect to Build wave, and I cannot wait. Uh, I did get the gold label uh, wave, and uh, I have Peachmaker coming in the mail in a couple of days, so I'll, I'll have two uh, King Sharks. So uh, expect the review. Of either the gold label or the collectible figure in a few days. Anyways, here's the packaging if you care. Very simple. And it says, biggest build a fig yet. It's true. It's true. I, you know, when I, I, last time I looked at that, I said it wasn't true. So, yeah, it is true. Um, so, yeah, it's insane. I, I, oh my god, I can't wait to get them opened up. And uh, that's it for the packaging. Um, Let's take a look at his accessories. So, he does come with the head. <laughs> Imagine just having this laying around. And someone picks it up. I'm like, what the fuck? Why do you have a shark head? Like, what? Uh, it comes with the head and the uh, middle torso piece. This piece is heavy. So, let's, uh, you know what? Let's snap him in place. Right here, right now. So, down. Uh, okay, yeah, I need to... There we go. It just, you hear that? It popped into place. And then take this and go like that. Pop it in place and then take this. And then this, I'm guessing, goes that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's so sexy. Look at him. Oh, he just needs his arms. I'm getting flashbacks to when I couldn't complete my freaking uh, multi, my other multiverse King Shark from Mattel. But anyways... Uh, let's take a look at Polka Dot Man's accessories. He comes with a wristband or a gauntlet right here. Wristband, gauntlet right here. This uh, I'll explain in a minute. He comes with the, the standard DC Universe Classics, DC Multiverse base. Jesus, I'm all over the place today, aren't I? There is Polka Dot Man from the movie. He was really cool. I really did like him. Um, and then there's the back. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. But yeah. Cool. Uh, by the way, I do have the first appearance of Polka Dot Man right here. It does have a sticker on the on the sleeve, but uh, yeah, that's him right there. That's his original look, and it looks pretty damn similar. That's cool. Yeah. I've had this for years, and then when I was going through it and I saw him, I'm like, I wonder if this is the first appearance of him, and it was. I was like, oh, damn. So I have the first appearance of Polka Dot Man and King Shark. He had the uh, goggles here. I do wish there was a little bit of silver on the uh, rims. Like in the picture. But uh, yeah. Looks cool. I like it. I'm definitely going to be keeping it on him. And then he comes with the uh, Polka Dots. I love that. I, I don't like the colors. It's like Wonder Bread. But you know, I wish they put more green and... You know, just more green, I guess. But, um, yeah. Just to, you know, not make it look so Wonder British. But, yeah, that looks great. I, I, I really like this. I think it works. Let's take a look at Polka Dot Man. I don't think it looks like the actor too much. It, it does have a re resemblance. Uh, not crazy, though. Um, so, it's good. It's not their best. Um, but, yeah. You can see his, you know, little... It's not a helmet, but... It's like a hood, kind of. Kind of looks like a pilot, right? Like a... Like a 1940s test pilot or something. But the polka dots are good. Some of the polka dots don't line up onto the actual sculpt. Actually, a good majority a majority of them don't do that. But that's a little unfortunate. But, uh, yeah, you know. There's the back. More polka dots. I like that it goes throughout the figure. Because some companies don't even bother painting the back. So McFarlane didn't go the extra mile there. I like the suit he's wearing too. It's very simple. You know. Everyone else's suit for the most part. Well, not everyone else. But like Bloodsport's so complicated. But it's so cool. You know, everyone's suit in this movie was very simple. Um, so the wristband. It's uh, or the... I don't know why I keep saying wristband. The gauntlet. So, the difference is, this is supposed to be opened up, so his polka dots can come out. 
So that's the point of it. Um, I'm not even going to bother changing it because I, I, I just don't think it's worth it. But I'm, I'm sure you could pop off the hand, pull that out, and put this in. Um, yeah, so that's, that's what's going on there. I like the silver on the, uh, the gauntlets, though. You get the silver on the buckle there, too. Articulation, the head will look side to side. It'll look up a tiny bit. It'll look down quite a bit. It does have a nice head pivot in there. Uh, arm joints go out like so. That's cool. And then you can get the full 360 there. Bicep swivel. Bicep swivel. It does have butterfly joints, but they're not that good. I mean, they're, they're there. It's nice, but... You know, you can't get his arms to, you know, connect. So you can, you know, have him pose as like, ah, oh, he just turned his thing on. Uh, double jointed elbows. And then he has the ball hinged hands. I do wish he came with alternative hands. I wish he came with one more of these for the left side. But, you know, I mean, whatever. So you can get the uh, hands to hinge there and rotate. So that's nice. The There is a bit of a you know mid torso crunch there so that's how far he'll go forward and that's how far he'll go back you do get a gap in there uh he can go side to side and rotate so that's nice so you oh you can go all around uh and then hip joints will move out like so he will kick out like so back quite a bit there is no rotation in the upper in, you know in the crotch joint double joint knees kicks all the way to his ass and then you get a very limited uh, ball joint at the ankles. Um, you could get it to rotate, but you can't get it really to hinge because the way this is sculpted. I like the boots, by the way. I think the boots look cool, too. Could use a little more paint just to separate it a little bit, but yeah, that's the, uh, he, he does have toe articulation as well. So that's Polka Dot Man. I like him. I, I do. I think is he the best figure from this little wave? Absolutely not. King Shark is. Um, I didn't even open them. But, uh, yeah. Anyways. So there's Polka Dot Man. Um, you know what? Let's put this on his head. Just like that. Yeah, he was really cool on the movie. I did, I did like him a lot. Uh, let's do uh, Batman and Polka Dot Man. Because Polka Dot Man was a Batman villain at first. So there you go. They uh, scale well. I don't think Batman in the movies would take him on. Because it's just so ridiculous. But... And, you know, it turns out he's actually like, one of the most dangerous out of all of them. So we got, uh, Bloodsport, and then finally, if I can get her to stand. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Harley Quinn. So yeah, so far it looks good. I, I do wish we could get more of the Suicide Squad, um... Rat Catcher would be cool. Rick Flag would be nice. Um, maybe even some of the characters that, you know, some of the other characters, Javelin, um, with Michael Rooker's character. I don't know. We'll see. But there you go. Polka Dot Man. Really cool. I, I, I do like this figure. Probably, like I said, probably not my favorite one out of the four that I have so far. But, anyways, uh, I'm going to be reviewing King Shark next. Um, yeah, you know, I'm just going to review King Shark and then I'll just finish. I'm not even going to review this one um, just because I have the gold label. So uh, subscribe to see that uh, tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching.